good morning good afternoon or good evening whatever time it is when you hear this message i pray that you are poised to receive to accept and to respond to words of wisdom i share the insider threat are people who are within our ranks people who legitimately practice orisha lifestyle in any of its formats if it's Cuban tradition or the Brazilian tradition or the uh, West African tradition. These are people who are within us, you know, who are among us, who use their knowledge and their exposure to the detriment of our tradition and people within the tradition. And one of the ways that you will quickly recognize these people is that they're very easily offended. And when they're offended, they're very quick to start issuing out veiled threats and outright curses, right? They'll, they'll go straight to name calling. They'll go straight to uh, defamatory kinds of language. They go straight to personal attacks. Uh, they go straight to, like, you know, curses and and, and, and and threats of some kind of a, you know, spiritual, um, you know, firestorm that's going to come raining down on the heads of everybody who they don't like or everybody who has offended them. Uh, but what you're going to notice is that these people only target uh, other people who look like them. They only target people within the tradition to start launching all these different attacks. They're only offended by people who look like them. They're only offended by people who dress like them. See, because they're not uh, launching these attacks and these threats against that white man who's coming in and looting their treasury, taking their plutonium, taking their uranium, taking their oil, taking their doctors, taking their engineers, taking their athletes. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. They're never aiming their, their you know, attacks and, and their self-righteous you know, assault on the real enemy. Never that. Never that. These people don't have the, the courage to even identify, let alone name, their true enemy. All they can think of is how to lash out against the people who look like them and sound like them and therefore represent themselves. And so the, the insider threat is a person who fundamentally is at war with himself, is at war with herself. And that is why they fight so aggressively against people who are most similar to them. And, you know, we, we as, a, as a collective, we kind of get off on that. You'll see, how much energy is generated when people go into these outrageous and outlandish tirades that don't make any sense, that don't have any logical cohesiveness. It just, you know, they're just ranting and venting and foaming at the mouth and spitting all over the place. And those are the ones that you guys, oh, you go and tag other people to say, oh, look at this one. This guy's really coming unhinged. Look at how she's really just going for broke here. You guys like that. Right. I won't say you guys, we we as a as a community, as a culture, we feed off of that kind of negativity and we need to purge ourselves of all of that foolishness. We need to get that out of our system because we have enough problems. We have enough problems. We have enough things that all of us could dedicate 50 hours per week toward just solving our own problems that have nothing to do with cursing each other, have nothing to do with fighting one another nothing at all you need to give that up so if you find yourself getting all caught up in the drama and the you know the conflict and, and and all of these different kind of firestorms that go on between people who are supposedly at odds with one another you, you, you know think about what you really ought to be doing think about that the real difference that you could be making ask yourself how does any of this help reinforce my natural gifts and talents? How does any of this help me 
hone the, the, the skills and the equipment that are associated with mastering my natural gifts and talents? How does any of this help me to clarify and improve my ability to serve the people who I am destined to serve? Those are the questions that you need to be asking yourself. You need to ask, hey, how is any of this going to help me to achieve my visionary goal that by the year X, Y, Z, I'm going to accomplish one, two, three. How is this conversation helping me get to where I'm supposed to be going? If you can't answer those questions in direct, concrete ways, you know that you're part of the problem and you don't want to be part of the problem. You want to be part of the solution. The tradition didn't survive the hardships of slavery for us to be talking about using our ancestral wisdom and, and powers to curse one another. That's not why, why our ancestors survived. It's not why they kept this alive. They kept this alive so that you have another opportunity to put your feet on the ground, to root yourself in the ancestral memory and to clarify your vision and deliver on the promise to use all of your natural gifts and talents to make a meaningful contribution to the people that matter most. That's all. All right. And so I really want to um, just acknowledge the fact that, hey, everybody likes entertainment. We all like a good joke. And, you know, of course, all black folks are, are good for being able to uh, to, you know, talk a good game. We, we can say some interesting things when we're upset. We can say some really clever things when we want to offend one another. And that can be entertaining for a minute. I get it. Ha ha. It's great. You know, but like I said, the moment that you're allowing that little thrill that you get from entertainment to interfere with you fulfilling your destiny, you know that that's, that contradicts our tradition. You know that that is totally against everything that the divinities and the ancestors stand for. That is completely against your Ori and the mission that your Ori selected for you. So don't let yourself get lost in the sauce, good people. Keep yourself focused on who you are, where you're from, where you're going, and why you need to get there uh, before everything you know, goes to shambles. All right. And so this is what I'm talking about when I say I'm looking for leaders. I'm looking for leaders. I'm looking for people who want to improve the world through positive influence. If you're one of those people, I want you to find out how Obafemi Origunwa and the Orisha Lifestyle Academy can help you take your practice and your life to the next level. Visit me at obafemio.com or orishalifestyle.com. And let's start working together so that you can live the medicine that will heal your life and heal the lives of those who you are destined to serve. Bye for now. Odaba. Oh,